Thanks to a grant from the Heritage Lottery Fund, in 2013, Butterfly Conservation launched a brand new brilliant project, Munching Caterpillars. I'm Lucy and I'm going to tell you all about it. The project took place across Dorset and Somerset. Its main aim was to introduce children to the beautiful and fascinating world of butterflies, moss and their caterpillars. It was an exciting and hands-on project that reached more than 14,000 children. We are the caterpillars! Yeah! While everyone taking part had fun, for some, it might have just been the first spark that begins a lifetime of interest and enjoyment. Who knows, perhaps a future butterfly conservation director may have enjoyed a munching caterpillar workshop. The project has three lovely project officers, Megan, Catherine and Kate, who travelled throughout Dorset and Somerset in the Munchmobile, delivering workshops, attending events and organising training days. The first job for the project officers was to create some special project resources and a brand new website. The website has loads of information about food and nectar plants and tells you what you might expect to find visiting them. You could also send in photos and have your questions answered on the Ask an Expert section. The Munching Caterpillars project has delivered over 200 primary school workshops. But that means nearly 3,000 children have come face to face with moths and caterpillars. The primary school workshops were designed to fit in with areas of the national curriculum and were aimed at Key Stage 2 children aged 7 to 11. Each school received two visits from the project officers. The first workshop gave us an introduction to butterflies and moths. The project officers used a fantastic set of images to introduce us to some of the most amazing species. The life cycle was discussed too and we learned about what was needed for survival at each stage. Then came the planting bit. Everyone got to go outside and get hands on planting caterpillar munch and butterfly fuel. These were specially selected plants that would provide food for caterpillars as well as the adult moths and butterflies. The Munching Caterpillars team also went to events throughout Dorset and Somerset. These ranged from small community events to country shows and even a music festival. Children could come along and plant up a caterpillar munch box or some butterfly fuel to take home for their own gardens. They also got to have a look at live specimens and take part in a fun craft activity. 16 training days were delivered with 167 people taking part. The project's training workshops were aimed at teachers, environmental educators and volunteers. Participants learned about butterfly and moth ecology, species identification and how to deliver a munching caterpillars workshop. They learned all about moth trapping and how to hunt for caterpillars. The Munching Caterpillars brought a workshop over to us here at Magdalen which was really beneficial for us because it meant that we had some experts on site to help us understand how to best use our site, where the best places were to find the butterflies and moths and caterpillars and how we could talk about those with children. The Munching Caterpillars project may have finished in November 2015 but really it's just the start. Well, I think in the past butterfly conservation was very effective at uh, training and providing education for our volunteers, but we didn't do very much for children um, and this project has really made a difference in that respect. We, we've now got a whole new cohort of uh, young people interested in butterflies and moths ready to take over from us when we get past it. <laughs> the project will grow and develop and will continue to excite and inspire many more children and their families. I like peacocks because most of them are orange and I like orange. And um, me too. <laughs> I do like orange as well. What do you mean orange colours? Yeah. I like orange colours too. Yay!
One of my favourites is the White Admiral. Uh, when I see that flying down a woodland ride, it really does look like you're, you could be in the tropics. It's just that sort of butterfly. A lime green caterpillar with white hairs all over it, with brown hairs all over it, with bright yellow tufts on it, and a blue spike on its bum.